known for his three world titles and fighting off a great white shark in J-Bay 2015, Mick Fanning is working on a new documentary project called Save the Shark. Teaming up with Taylor Steele and National Geographic Australia, Mick calls it a personal journey for me to reconnect with sharks in a more friendly manner. In Save the Shark, he will talk to the world's leading shark experts and again come face to face with different species of sharks in the Bahamas, Australia, and Miami. The documentary will air later this year. Ready? I'm ready, man, if you're ready. <laughs> Friday night, By Hand made its world premiere at the Santa Barbara Film Festival. The documentary films tell the incredible story of twin brothers Ryan and Casey Higginbotham's epic, unassisted, 2,200 mile prone paddle from Alaska to Mexico. The GOAT, Kelly Slater, calls the feat like summoning Mount Everest for the first time. Learn more about the adventure at byhandproject.com. We got this idea. We're gonna get dropped off in Alaska and paddle south to Mexico. One of the most renowned surfboard shapers in the world, the life and times of Maurice Cole is being brought to life in a new biopic. The First Wave by Peter Baker is a moving and inspiring story that details the battle with the law, mental health, and a half a century of surfing. Still ripping at 65, it's a great look at the incredible life of one of surfing's most influential elder statesmen. What surfing really did for me, I think it, it woke up and released the real, the real me. 16-year-old Tahitian Charger, Emil Suzermak, has been making a name for himself at the end of the road lately. He just dropped a statement-making new edit called Bloom on his YouTube channel. Pull in and see what all the hype is about. <laughs> 